welcome to the many adventures of Hawk and Key. I am Hawkthorn, by myself in the dark room, playing Final Fantasy XV. Text, I want to be English, because I do not understand Japanese. Home theater? Television. I mean, I have a headset on, but that doesn't matter. Bonus content has been unlocked. Sweet. Download the Royal Pack from PlayStation Store, then enjoy a wealth of experience. Okay, this... <laughs> oh dear lord. <laughs> can we just... Can we just take a second and enjoy this? Because... Well, I grew up playing Mario, Ninja Turtles on the Nintendo, Zelda, and Final Fantasy. I've played multiple Final Fantasy games when I was younger. PS2 and I think maybe a few on PS3. No, mainly PS2. I love them, but I never finished any of them. This. This is going to be the one I finish. And if I get the chance, I'm going to go back and replay them. And I am going to finish them. Enough of that. Let's get into this Final Fantasy 15 new game. Easy mode reduces the challenge of combat and hel provides help in a pinch. Difficulty can be adjusted later. Let's do normal. Yeah, I've never played before. I this is my first time going in alongside you. Not this. Okay, we've just gotten in and I love it. Hey there, knocked. That's a do I know you look if I've ever seen one. You might not know me, but I know you as a matter of fact I've been watching you ever since you were little. This here is the old training room in the world of your dreams. I'm going to I'm gonna teach you the ins and outs of this world to help you along on your journey. Lore guide, I guess. The Lore of Eos. When you're done, just let me know. The Lands of Eos 1. Our story takes place in the Lands of Eos. At present, the world is divided between two warring states. Controlling a majority of the world's lands is the military mighty Nif Nif Niflheim, an aggressively expanding imperial war machine. The kingdom of Lucas Lucis continues to resist the empire's advance with magic. The crown city of Insomnia stands proud as the kingdom's last bastion, but the empire has already made it inroads on the outlying territories including the primary regions of Leide, Duske, and Cleon. The Six and the Oracle. Old tales tell of six gods who have stood watch over Eos since antiquity. It is said they now slumber, conserving their strength, waiting to awaken upon the coming of a plague known as the Star Scourge. 
she most pure faith is the oracle, a daughter in the line of those said to commune with the six. Blessed by the astral gods, she calls forth the powers of Eos to heal those who are suffering and afflicted her dev devotion to helping all those in need has expired re reverence for her among people from all over the world. The Magic of Lucy The crystals is the crystal is the divine cornerstone of the kingdom of Lucis. The stone has a will of its own and channels its sacred power through the ring of the Lucy to the monarch who bears it. Monarchs in the line of Lucis have the innate ability to conjure magical weapons. A handful of close attendants are also afforded access to this self-same power. The magical barrier known as the Wall has long kept the Empire at bay and thereby, and thereby maintained the peace, yet not entirely without struggle. Sustaining the Wall imposes an immense physical burden upon the King, but to let it fall for even a moment would be to invite total annihilation. Daemons and Knight Eos is plagued by hordes of daemons, vicious nocturnal creatures of various forms that strike fear into the hearts of even the most seasoned hunters. Daemons are denizens of the night and the more predatory among them are drawn to the roads after dark. People now dread the setting of the sun for, for fear of what monsters might be lurking in the shadows. In recent years, the daemon daemons have grown in number while the knights have grown longer. The correlation between the two phenomena is yet unproven, but scientists persist in the search for a link. Yes. Combat tutorials. Gladio says he'll help you train. What a pal. Alright, let's get started. Okay, hold up. Absolutely love the music, but let's tone it down a bit. <laughs> Combat basics, defend thyself. Just a little more. That's the way. Ow. Don't want to be doing that. Alright, now it's your turn to strike. Blitz. Circle behind and whack. That's how you do it. I'm recording. Parrying. 
Block and counter. After defending, quickly press O to parry. Nope. Parry three more times. That's the way. That did quite a bit of damage. I tried to count it too soon. Okay, let's not listen to when it says to block. Okay, so like right as it's about to hit you. Noctis will take heavy damage if you fail to perform the initial block. Stay on guard and be ready to defend at all times, and an intensive drill is available to help you hone your parrying skills. Okay, time to put that into practice. Attack, defend, parry your way to victory. Try and get the tap parry down. Get lost. What's up, Bree? I'm on my own. Uh -huh, I did it. Now you've got the hang of the basics. Say, while you're here, you want to practice warping to warping. Warping an MP. Warping and military, please. <laughs> Magic points. Alright, it's warping time. I can throw my weapon. I want to lock on plus warp strike. R1 plus pressing R3 to track and then cancel. Locked on and then... Nice walk, let's move on. Point warp. In addition to warp striking, enemies Noctis can also point warp to specific locations. So if I look around and then So I can then warp strike. Managing NP. Warping and phasing consumes MP, which is shown as a blue gauge above Noctis's head after performing point warping as well as po warp striking. If Noctis uses MP into deficit, he enters stasis, which severely limits his abilities. Keep an eye on MP and use items to keep it up. 
Cover icon when appears and stand. Okay. Thanks, Gladius. Resistance. No, it's sure. We'll just go through all the tutorials. Attack, Gladius. Feeling good. Shaking an enemy, the damage value may appear in different colors. Orange indicates increased, while purple indicates reduced. Great sword and dagger. Ow. Let's try dagger. This isn't going the dagger. Great sword. I have a javelin. Main gear change category. Two hundred great sword javelin. He really felt the warp strike. spells. To use spells you have to equip it like a weapon. Here's a spell to get you started. Fire times five. Noctis has obtained the fire spell. Let's replace daggers. Royal arms. Fire. <laughs> So have I only got like five of these, or have I got like five charges? Swap weapon, cast spell. So I only have a certain amount, gotcha. Pretty cool and don't burn me alive, alive type thing. Prime spell and then release. They can be either resistant or weak to it. Active and wait. Pause options combat. Wait mode emphasizes strategic elements of combat. Engaging wait mode and lock on to an enemy to analyze it. So it basically um, brings in the original type stuff. 
The same old tricks won't work on Gladio twice. Gladio this time, find out what he's weak to and then let him have it. So, element C. Let's do five fire. Discard? Hold up. Oh. And then if I go back. like that very much. Okay, that's that's pretty neat. You got it. Right I want to try and parry him. And I am within stasis. You've got the hang of it now. <laughs> Last but not least, how about practicing some teamwork? Ooh, yeah. Mm. You rang? 
Hi there, buddy. Link strikes. Noctis friends engage in combat automatically. If they are nearby when Noctis performs a parry or blindside using a sword, greatsword, or a pullarm, they may join in for a link attack. Hey, Prompto. Ow. I, I thought... Jesus. When Noctis runs out of HP, he enters a state of danger. This not only impairs his abilities, it also decreases his maximum HP. Over time, and when he takes damage, when his maximum HP falls to zero, the game is over. Noctis recovers from danger with time, or when a friend comes to his rescue. Prompto help. Thanks, love you man. No, Prompto! Friends also fall into a state of danger when they run out of HP. Unlike Noctis, however, they do not automatically recover and need to be rescued first. I got you, homie! <laughs> Recovering from danger does not restore maximum HP. Combat items. Characters can still use items while in danger if an item targets only one person select who? R2 equals items. Use Alexis to restore Noctis and Prompto's HP. Alexa times 5. Alexa. Uh. Prompto. Yep! Yep. Then Alexa. Wait, no, that was. Oh, wait. That won't. But I need it. The Alexa. Potions and elixirs lift a state of danger while restoring HP. Oh, I am going to love this game. Now team up with Prompto to take down Gladius. Magic, Flask, and Fire. Nice whistle. With your buddies at your side, you've got nothing to worry about. Begin a new game. Twirl at any time. Drills also available for honing skills such as parrying and spellcasting. When you're in trouble, I'll fly to your side. Take care now and safe travels. <laughs>
watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day. Bye. Thanks for watching the video, hope you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe.